of Flint, Michigan. I'm tripping. Thank you. <laughs> Bedrock. I'm tripping. <laughs> Urban. It, it will be a man. It will be a American. It will be a American. What's going on, bro? You was thick and big already. Yes, sir. What's going on, brother? Glow. How's it going today, brother? Glow. Look up in there, little brother. Everything good, brother. How's it going today? Oh, man. We blessed, man. Yes, sir. We blessed. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, it's this coronavirus is crazy, man. We, but we still living, man. We're still living, man. You know what I'm saying? Living. We blessed. We blessed. We, we got bigger fish to fry. Yes, sir. Uh, introduce yourself, sir. I'm Corey Moore of uh, Flint, Michigan. I'm 50 years old. I've been a barber the last 21 years here in the city of Flint, Michigan. Um, started the Urban Boy Scouts of Flint in 2018, February. So we're on our second year. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's what's up, brother. You know what I'm saying? We need more big homies like you in the hood, man. Yes, Salute. sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? We got some. I'm in the room with some right hey, now. Thank you, brother. Yes, yeah, yes with sir. A bunch of them. Yes, You're sir. right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, yes, sir. okay, brother. How um, how long had a uh, had an actual Urban Boy Scout to Flint been around? You know, when it was established? What year? Two years. 2018, February 21st, 2018. Okay. Yeah, so this is our second year. Okay. We started okay. off with six kids, six young brothers, and now we have a, uh, over a hundred. Okay, cool. Yes, sir. All right. I just, that answered my second question. I asked you, how many kids do you actually okay. mentor? Okay. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm going a little fast, huh? Oh no, you I'll cool. Take your time. So you right? say over a hundred? Uh, yes, sir. Started okay. with six, we got over a hundred. Okay. Well, we we going we gonna need to get two hundred. You feel me? Two million. Two million. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stand up, Flint, right. Michigan. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Okay. Um. Stony Carmichael in the house. Stony Carmichael. That's right. That's Lord. right. That's right. That's right. I heard uh, recently y'all went on a uh, ski trip. How did that go? Oh man, it was beautiful, man. You know. One thing I wanted to do when I was younger was I wanted to go see what Mount Holly was all about. Always driving past it and knowing that it was a ski resort. I never was off in the skiing, but I figured that some of the things I wanted to do that I didn't I did get a chance to do, I want to help these young brothers do something that I want to do. I never experienced it, so we set up a field trip there last year. Actually, it was last year, but the weather was so bad. Channel 12 was there. They covered it. and. Uh, the weather, the winds was blowing so bad that they uh, told us to come back. Now, initially, we were paying to go. Okay. But uh, that following Monday, Tuesday rather, the owner of Mount Holly came to the barbershop. I don't know how he found out where I was at. I mean, I guess I ain't hard to find. He said he really liked the idea that we wanted to come out there and ski, so he gave us all free passes. Wow. A thousand dollar day for free. That was a blessing. It was a big blessing. What's my man's name? Do you remember his name? Don't get me to remember. Shout out to the homie. Shout out to that guy. Steve is his name. Okay. Shout out to Steve. Yeah. And so we went back the following year, which was our second year anniversary of the program. We went for the first year anniversary of our program, but we wasn't able to ski. But the second um, anniversary, we was able to ski. And to see them having a, uh, a ball, man, they had a ball. And we was all grouped up. We all had on our Urban Boy Scouts Flint hoodies. So we was all grouped up. And it was like, it was a, it was very powerful. I think I got some pictures on Facebook. I know I do. But it was just powerful to see Urban Excelling at it was just beautiful to me. I didn't ski. I'm too old for it. You know what I'm saying? I need my feet and my hands. My you left it to the young bulls. Yeah, yeah. yeah I left it to the young bulls. Yeah, but it was beautiful. Yeah. But, you yeah, know, man, that, that was truly a blessing, man. Because like I said, like you say, man, I've passed Holly plenty of times on the way to Detroit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I always wonder what's going on over there. Oh, man, man it's, it's just nice. Man, big salute to you for that, man. Appreciate Taking them boys over there, man. Appreciate it. That's what's up, man. Hey, I okay. think, um, I, you know what, what cuz? I think I was like about 
40 some years old before, before I even rolled up, back. Straight, straight up? up there. Straight up? Yeah, I done seen it a million never times. Been up there? I've never been up there. You should go out there, man. Yeah. It's more than just a skiing place out there. It's a nice place to go hang out, too. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, um, what is um, the age limit to become an urban boy scout? And uh, is it any type of criteria? No, the, um, the age starts at seven, seven, uh, well, actually second grade through 12th grade. Okay. You know, we had some younger children in there, but they, it was more like babysitting than mentoring. I mean, at seven years old is, uh, is really a good age where they can really listen and pay attention. Uh, we had a five, six year old in there. I mean, we kept them though, mm -hmm. but now they're older, but you know, it was more like babysitting. You know, we, yeah, had, yeah, we would yeah. have to always stop doing what we were doing and try to see what, what they what they was doing, which right. they wasn't paying attention. They were too busy. So seven, basically second grade through 12th grade, okay. that's what we do. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, how often do you guys meet? We meet once a week. 3021 Lippincott. That's where that's their original class. Okay. Um, but I have other classes throughout the Flint community schools, uh, Potter, uh, Door Rider, Freeman, and uh Directory Mott. So okay. I'm all over the place, man. Right what's now. That, what's the address again? 3021 Lippincott, Flint Y'all hear that? If right y'all wanna go check Mr. Moore out or just go drop off some juices or anything. They help you help them with the kids. Oh, that'd be great. See we appreciate that. Y'all can go see them. Y'all can go see them. Call me right before you go to bed. All right. Okay. How's, um, yeah. 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 Okay. How do the people of uh, Flint get a hold to you if they want their kids to be a part of the um, Urban Boy Scouts? Um, like I said, they can stop by the barbershop, 3021 Lippincott. I'd rather meet people in person than rather over the telephone so I can get a good feel of really what's needed because you really, telephone conversations and and face-to-face and, and, and -face conversations are much better for me because I can get a better understanding on what I need to do to help that person. So 3021 Lippincott, I'm there Tuesday through Saturday, um, noonish to sevenish. Y'all heard that? Go check them out. Thirty twenty one Lipping Cup. Good brother, man. Go 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 go, go check his head. Well, give him some depth. Thank you. you. Got this virus shit going right. on. Right. Give him some depth. Yeah, some depth. You know what I'm saying? Or, or we go can check that brother out. Do like kid and play and do the feet thing. There you go. You uh, <laughs> know what I'm saying? That, old you know, school for like, real. Yeah, for real. I <laughs> know you ain't gonna catch nothing like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that. Right. Um, how do you um, plan to take the Urban Boy Scouts of Flint, Michigan to the next level, 2020 and beyond? Well, here's the thing. We're building a strong foundation. When you, when you, when you start building, then that speaks for itself. So, you know, we're going to be wide open. My plan is to have one day five million Urban Boy Scouts. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's, I it's growing. That. I can see that. And thank you, brother. Yeah, it's growing so far. You know, we started with six. We have over 100 now. So, we're just building steps here. God going to put us in the right position where we need to be. So, we're just taking it one day at a time. You don't want to put too much food on your plate at one time. But then you just end up to throw something away. So, we just put a little bit on our plate at a time. We devour that and we move on to the next meal. Okay, okay, brother. That's what's up, man. I appreciate it, brother. I, I, hear, uh, I hear you're a great barber, man. What, how did you get into barbering? How did, you, how did that come back? Yeah, well, that's a very good no. question, man. <laughs> My dad, he was okay. a barber in Flint for over 30, 35 years. His name was Raymond Moore. Um, His name was who? Ray Moore, Max Barbershop, right on Industrial and Edmond, right next to Metropolitan Church. Shout out to my Northern North Damon homies over there. Shout out to my Northern Damon homies. They showed me a lot of love over there. You know, when I came in, um, my dad was like, man, I was supposed to go to barber college uh, straight out of high school, but I, I went to the military, unfortunately. Then I tried to go play a little ball, and that didn't work out. So ended up working, man, uh, everything just didn't pan out for me as being a, a clock puncher and uh, I really don't accept certain authority too well so I always thought that I wanted to be my own boss and so by doing that my dad was like man you need to go on and go to Barber College and come on down here with me and uh, that's what I did and that was in 1998 and uh, here I am right now so um, actually basically man 
that's how the Urban Boy Scout started, man, from the barbershop. I think there are so many barbershops in the world, not just only in Flint, Michigan, but I think every barbershop in the world should have an after-school mentoring program for young brothers, other than just seeing exactly. them once a week or once a month. And, you know, you know the single mothers yeah. bringing them boys in the barbershop, fellas. Y'all know the them single room. mothers. And, and obviously, if they're bringing them young brothers in the barbershop, ain't no male figure in their life. That's not a woman's job, okay? Fellas, y'all understand this. That is not a woman's job. Women's are the providers. The best providers I know is women. The best providers I know, but it's us as males and men, we see when a woman needs us. It's up to us to say, hey, step up. So that's what I did. I created a program on Wednesdays. It's a slow day for us. Instead of seeing them 20 minutes every other week or whatever, bring them in for two and a half hours a week. I always talk to my customers, and, and so it's not like it's nothing new with me talking to them, but for 10 or 15 minutes, it don't stick. Two and a half hours of me talking and mentoring and teaching, that sticks. So that's what we do every Wednesday. Been doing it since February 21st of 2018. We mentor. I have uh, two mentors, Mr. Alonzo Miller and Mr. Jerome Montgomery. And Brother T. Sales, he came over and, and kicked it with us one day. All y'all welcome. Oh, Big yeah. Hall. Big Hall, Stony Choir Michael. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I came and checked them out. Listen, home. man, we need, I need all the seasonings I can get because the more seasoning you got, the better your meal going to taste. So I need all the seasonings it, I can get. And let me tell you, if I tell you them boys, be respectful. Don't you know say it. Yes, sir, Mr. Sales. No, sir, Mr. Sales. Instantly, the atmosphere in the room. Man, y'all gotta go check it out, man. Yeah, y'all gotta go check it out. Yeah, talking gotta go about check it, it out, cause talking about it, it don't do the justice Please. of that as you will see it in your face. Hey, man. First of all, I want to say salute to all the survivors out here. That's right. To everybody salute. out here. Mm -hmm. No matter what they keep throwing at us, man, we keep coming up with what it takes to be here for these next generations of us. Definitely. To you, my brother, to 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 at this time, especially at this time, right. To make a platform. Right. Thank you. That is tangible. And it's for the ones who right you you meet them right where they are. They ain't have to go meet some criteria. Right. In order to in order to get right. access to no, no criteria. See, at usually all. I worked in the juvenile field for twenty five years. Right. And usually cats don't get in contact with people like us until they've already been affected you know, from a legal standpoint yes. and displaced from their home. Right. It's integral to any of us who really truly believe in this we are all we need movement. Right. That us who are fathers, and, 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 and let me say this, a lot of us are a whole lot, we're greater fathers than we give ourselves credit for. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, Please believe that the ones that your, your sons and daughters are going to be affected by once they leave your household, if there's not a man in their household teaching them, they're absent of what you taught your daughter and child. And if they're with your child, they have more influence over your child than you do because they're going to spend more time with them than you actually do, working and hustling and Absolutely. doing all the things you do. So you have to be mindful and forward thinking of every one of those you you see yeah. is yours too because yours gonna spend more time with them than they gonna spend with you. Absolutely. But this is the gift though. Everywhere me and my big homie, my cousin, I call my cousin my big homie. Right, right, right. That's my guy. For sure. On, on a whole bunch of different levels. Oh yeah. And everywhere me and my big homie go around, be it's like the young cats who, who, who gravitate are the ones that everybody else would throw away. Yeah. They're the ones who need it the most. It, it, yeah. But they don't know how to act. They don't know how to cry. They, they're the ones who don't cry. They're the ones who, they angry because they don't know how to cry. But you can see it. You feel me? But you can see it if you have a conversation yeah. past two minutes. Yep. The That's bar. all it takes. Thank you, B, because every last one well, of us right. who stand here, and especially us cats who didn't have your father in the household right. with you. Right. Man, there's a bunch of barbers that's done raised us, man. Yeah. A right. lot of us Good. walk around with Good. what we call our game. You know, right. my, 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 my whole movement is taking right. on global game. Right. And, and game is, is equated to, to data, right. information. Yes, it is. The more you pick up, the more you weigh, the more you gain weight based right. on the condensity of you. I got all my game from the barbers. I got all my games from the hustlers and, right. the, and, the, and, the, and the dope addicts and, right. the, and the liquor and the, and the drunks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The prostitutes and the pimps. Yeah. Because they, I matter to them. Yeah. They don't shoot when it comes to young. 
Because you got to look past yourself to recognize that the information that you give yeah. far surpasses your own self-esteem about you and how much you think your word means. Yeah. Just give it to them. Yeah. I just, can, I, honestly, my dude, I just volunteered for, 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 for the Urban League, just speaking to my mans because it's already my crusade. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because on, on some real, like, that's worth giving blood for. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, I, don't, I don't rob the hood enough right, to right. get the knowledge that I'm standing on. Right. Amen. You know, that's 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 why the brother said, you know, the, the hood, the, it takes the hood to save the hood. It takes the hood to save the hood. Because who else affected by it? Right. Who else more affected by it than us? Now, the ones of us who throw trash out the window and 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 and, 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 and break your lighters and all that old silly shit, yeah. you know, all these behaviors that you know are less than the greatness of the one who birthed you into the world. Let's just put it on that. Damn, we ain't even got to go all the way back to, to the ancient stuff. Big hog gates, man. At all. <laughs> but you was in the house yeah, today, you yeah, know, man, watching it grow every day. The more the merrier, uh, bro. Because, get together, uh, man. you know what I'm saying, you always with me rolling. Better know it. Yeah, yeah, we got Trill over here, Trill Magazine, the slid in the house on us over here. In the Trill in the house? Yeah, Trill okay. in the house. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, you know. Uh, Basically, you know, the hood do have to stick with the hood. You gotta keep coming together, doing things. And, Definitely. You know, uh, I, let me take my hat off to Steve up there on Cloud Road. And picking up that trash and that paper and uh, we, we're gonna work on getting different things, you know what I'm saying, together to make it uh, all come together, help the city. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to help each other. We ain't trying to be bigger than one another. Right. We just want to come together and take ties back to what it was. Summer breeze. Yeah. Hey. Feel right. The good old days. Yeah, the good old days. Yeah. We can, you know, be comfortable. But I'm so proud of uh, C for, for you know what I'm saying, doing this with these younger ones. Man, so Thank you, brother. Because that's Global what you salute. really don't see. Most of the guys I see now, you know what I'm saying, they just holding on to a beer can or something. They ain't got nothing to tell them. Definitely. So if they ain't got nothing to tell them, how they going to learn something? They you not. Know, they not. They, they, they not learning <laughs> no, nothing. You know, they, they not, not learning, learning nothing. nothing. They get lost in something. And what they learning is all illusion anyway. Video games ain't teaching shit. For real. It's huh. destroying. Yeah. Destroying. Yeah. Them. yeah especially yeah. that one. Definitely. Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite, uh, Grand Theft Auto, yeah, Grand GTA, Theft Auto, yeah, man. yeah, all yeah. Just, it's, man, it's all bad. Destroy, it's all bad. Kids. It's all bad, man. Yeah. Why yeah. Destroy, well, well, we don't. Well, we don't uh, tell them that they shouldn't play video games. You just shouldn't spend a lot of time playing video games because it's destroying and poisoning your mind. If you playing a video game and it's all about killing, then eventually that's going to be a, your train of thought. And you've already subliminally already practiced. It. Yeah, you already already practiced. That's, right. the, that's hold on. That's the real, real. If we're gonna go, let's, if we're gonna go, let's go a little deeper. Yeah, we have your games. So right. We yeah. Because we might not live tomorrow. Right. That shit is sabotaging the motherfucking mindset, making our kids walk around. Yeah. Being complete savages. Yep. Savages. Psychologically. Psychologically. They don't play out killing over a thousand people in a game. Right. And then they go into their classroom and the teacher tell you that you got a motherfucking E on your report card because you didn't motherfucking do the study. Right. And then now what's the first instinct to use now that you're upset? Right. What have you been programmed to do? Right. Violence. The issue is black men. I got to go back to us, bro. Yeah. Yeah. If we're going to use the barbershop, use yeah. the barbershop for more than just getting pretty for the next chick. You Absolutely. Drop the seed in, my nigga. Absolutely. Take your seed with you. Absolutely. Amen. Word up. Y'all hear that? H-O-G-G. Heavy on global game. Heavy you know on saying? global game. I love game. it, man. I love sure. it. I love it. I love it. Um, Heavy on global game. Man. man. Man, I love it, man. Like, it's it's hard, pretty game. deep, like man. I, say, I need y'all to go support this brother. Hey, He's doing a you. wonderful job sit with the kids. Sit He's sit doing up. a wonderful oh, job with the kids. You know what I'm saying? This one, uh, this, um, this one, I gotta give y'all the artist showcase of the day. It's uh, B Gray. I remember. We'll be back in a minute. And check out Black Water. Black check Black out Black Water. Water. <laughs> Black Water, man. What made you come up with that title, man? <laughs> 
The city. The city. The city. The city. Right. Think about what. Think about it. The city. Yeah. We predominantly black. Yeah. They would have did that to no other place. Right. Okay. You know what I got the concept now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh huh. Black water. Yeah. Strong. Not the color of the right, water. Right, right. The We're color of the people. The color of the people poison. with the poison. Yeah. Damn. The color of the people that they poison, bro. Damn. That's a deep ass concept right oh, there, bro. It's true or not? Look at you, man. Right now. <laughs> you gonna smoke that or what, man? <laughs> <laughs> we ain't smoking inside. No, no, I'm going outside. Come on, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll be back, man. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Trill. Trill. Where you at, baby? Come on, slide up in here, brother. See, we got uh, we got twenty, we got twenty minutes left. Twenty minutes and twenty three seconds. Cause you just been rambling with them cameras. <laughs> so you just been rambling with the cameras. <laughs> I was trying to get them joints on point. You good? I got a question for you. So I got, I already got to roll it up for you. Here we go. Come and get a bag, nigga. One day, one day, cause we gonna squeeze up on. No, I meant to. I meant to go get some. Man, tomorrow starts the motherfucking rap race. Man, I always gonna never forget that. I pulled up on on Glen Street one day. He was like, "The rap race has begun." Going back to work. Uh, Tuesday. Real, 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 What's here? Come out the dark? Yep, come out the dark. You got, you got, you got 40 seconds, baby. Come on around so we can go. Okay, it's back. You got the mic right here. Yo, yo, we back, we back, but after dark, uh, we got another guest, we got Trill Mag in the house, they can come every week, it's my oh, man, shoot, they can man. come every week, I don't good. care, <laughs> he can come every week, my dog, what's going on man? What's the word my baby? What's been going, what's, 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 what's the deal, what we, what we looking like? Man, get this thing right, man. I just been working, man. Just back, feel back, uh, feel great again, man. Back with my health. Right. I'm trying to figure out what we gonna do. You know, stay, stay busy. Right. You gotta stay busy, brother. You gotta stay busy. No time just to, uh, no time just to play around. Oh, you got the uh, holder right there. You say what now? Oh, a holder. That's oh yeah, you know what that's for. Oh, I ain't even use it. <laughs> That's for the virus, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's the word for the day? Man, 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 just man. We had uh Corey Moore from the Boy Scouts earlier, the Urban Boy Scouts. Urban, you can't get Urban, everybody can't credit, leave the Urban man. out. 
of Flint, Michigan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, shit, man. What's what's your take on this on this uh, on this virus shit, man? What, oh, what's man. your take on that, man? Real talk, bro. Well, it's it's a virus, they say. You know, for sure, somebody dying. Right. People are always dying. A lot of times, that you ain't gonna believe it till it happened to you or somebody you know. Into the hood, right? Into it to your homeboy having until, stuff or you. Until you know it's happening. Yeah. But uh, you know, it's been going on. I've been following. You know. Yeah. I'm into the news. About six weeks. Right about sometime in January. Into December, actually. Okay. That's why it's nineteen. That's why it's COVID nineteen. It changed. Right. It's, it's coronavirus. It can happen at any time, but this is the coronavirus of 19, right? Okay. And so I've been watching, taking, following up on the news, watching the, uh, the container ships, the boats that was stuck. So, it ain't, I, I know back in in the 90s, I used to have that Lysol spray, and I seen something on the back of that Lysol spray. It said, oh, kills, you know, the virus, that virus, that coronavirus. And this was in 93, bro. 93? Yeah. You got a cold memory, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, so it, this ain't nothing new, but it's just a different strand, right? I mean, well, that's what it say. I don't know for sure. I'm not the, uh, the professional. Right, right. But the thing I was saying about it was, uh, me, myself, being in the news, I've been following, right? Right. And after following for so long, I kept telling people about it. like, man, you don't stop talking about that. And it was actually, it was kind of funny before it hit here. Right. And now they hit home, I don't even want to talk about them. I'm like, ah, hey, oh, man, it's Did here. this, though. Did this. The dude, the original guy from the NBA, you know they had played the Pistons, right? Right. So imagine this, right? So they found, um, the other night, they, um, I forgot his name, but he's a Piston player, so he, he was confirmed, right? So all the new cases that we've been getting in Michigan been from down that way. From the city? You know what I'm saying? So really... Man, that shit crazy, man. All that shit been Wayne County, Washington County, Oakland. Shit, Oakland County. Now we had a case up in Bay City, um, Saginaw. The dude worked at the um, the hospital, the Covenant Hospital. But he said he went on a on a, 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 a to a ski resort somewhere, and he got back. He wasn't feeling good. Well, we know so, we went at the ski resort ourselves. <laughs> right there, you go. My whole point. <laughs> ski resort. I mean, it's being brought here, you know what I'm saying? Like you say, it's it's it's, it's surrounding us, bro. I just pray, you know what I'm saying? What? I just I just pray, man. I keep me a keep me a bottle of this with me. You know, keep this this this, this uh, alcohol. I can spread my hand every five ten minutes. My kids' hands every five ten minutes. You I know, know. I know one thing, man. It, now is the time, to, man. If we gonna do something, let's do it because, like you said, feed these kids, man. I was wondering, like. Like you said, but we was gonna get this food to feed the kids, and I was like, "Wait a minute! I forgot how many great nieces and nephews I gotta feed." You right. Know what I mean, so I thought, take care of that. Let's get that race rolling, man. Yeah, we got to, bro. Let's get that you know race rolling. Uh, we um, we gonna put the camp put together a campaign. Um, the hood got to say the hood. We are gonna try to um, get these kids lunch a couple times a week. You know, since they got to school. And we're gonna do things like that. We're gonna we also gonna start cleaning up this neighborhood around here. Yeah. We're gonna start like about at, at Carpenter Road and go back all at least to Austin Street. You know what I'm saying? All up and down Saginaw Street. We putting that together as we speak. So we got a lot of good things coming up. You know what I'm saying? We the hood got to say the hood, bro. We gotta stick together. Man, that's you know? what we're here for. That's hey, real. Bro. That's real. You know? So Man, but uh, so um, what's up with the mag, man? Uh, we got, we got any new issues coming out soon? Or what? Oh, it's been tight with the mag, man. With, all, with stuff being so digital, it's costing so much to print. Right. You like that joint right there? Like that one? Okay. Oh, okay. The custom joint. See if they can see it. Y'all see that? <laughs> <laughs> it was a gift, man. It was a gift. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta mean something to somebody, man. Yeah, everybody means something to somebody. But I got this right here, man. Oh man, that G pop, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's that green piece of paper, baby. <laughs> Nothing to something to come up on the way. <laughs> the Nothing lick. to something to come. Up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That green piece of paper to lick. Yeah, Yo, it's been shout good, out, bro. Man. This is, oh. This is the actual last uh, hard copy we did, man. The, okay. ID, the, the ID joint, man. Okay. It's been a minute, but uh, 
we working out, just basically going back to digital, man. I had did like uh, I had about four hundred videos on YouTube. Brother, when you go back to that to that um uh, to them copies, your boy want to try to do something. You well, know what, I'm what you mean, yeah. man? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it is what it is, yeah. man. You you. You, you got to, you know, you, you, you working. You still active, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, well, that's all that counts. We're doing the merchandise now. Like we got the shirts, whatever, man, the hats. Merchandise? Okay. Yeah, you you got to have that merch because there's only so much you can make off the music. Okay. There's only how, so many magazines a person so what, can buy. So what type of merch you got? I mean, we got the shirts. We got the hats, man. It's, it's a gang. So we got the ashtrays. Uh, it's so much stuff, man. I, I wish I had to brought something with me to show you, but definitely these are shirts right here. Okay. These okay. are shirts right here. Okay. With uh, next up though for the summer, we're gonna release these lady shirts. Okay. Well, I got a gang. I got a deal on the, uh, the lady shirts to, to get the good joints, the gildings. Okay. How can they uh, get a hold to you? Get the uh, get the part of. Man, I got the same number, man. The original cricket, man. That's seven oh one, man. You got that seven oh one joint. That's eight one oh seven oh one. Oh seven. Well, really though, really. This number right here, I had it. Yeah, it was the original cricket. That's where it came the from. The original cricket joint. We were talking about that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the 701 is still going, man. I went to the next sale, Sprint, Cricket, right. Metro. I'm back 